booktube i know it's been a really 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 long time since you've seen me um surprise i finished my second and final year of graduate school i now have an mfa in creative writing um and i can't wait to tell you guys more about what i've been up to this past year and what i am doing now that i have graduated grad school what i plan to do with my life and where I'm at, you know, now that I'm almost 25 and in my quarter life crisis. I'm, I'm not having a crisis, I'm doing fine, actually. But that video is for another time. For now, I just want to tell you what I want to read this summer. So the first book that I want to read this summer, and as you will see soon, I've already started it, is Starting Point by Hayao Miyazaki. This will be a reread for me. I read this book last summer in preparation for a creative nonfiction exam. I loved it, and the reason I want to read it again is not only because I liked it, but also because because I want to make a video review about it. Starting Point is a collection of interviews, film notes, articles, and sketches by Hayao Miyazaki from 1979 to 1996. And as a person who loves animated films so much, I loved this book. After I finish this, I'm moving on to Turning Point by Hayao Miyazaki, which I have not read yet and cannot wait to read. The next book that I want to read this summer is The Street of a Thousand Blossoms by Gail Tsukiyama. Since I started grad school for creative nonfiction, I haven't read a whole lot of fiction, and so I am dying to read a lot more of it this summer. I've not read or seen a book review on this book, and I actually didn't know about it until I saw it in a bookstore recently when I was looking at the fiction section, and I thought this looked like a really powerful story. It takes place in Tokyo during World War II, and it follows the story of two brothers. It's most likely going to be very emotionally hard to read, but I want to read it. I am ordering the next book soon, and that is the 13th volume of Yotsuba by Kiyohiko Azuma. Yotsuba is about a five-year-old girl and her dad and their everyday adventures in Japan. They do things like riding a bike for the first time, or trying a new food, or hanging out with their friends, and it's just such a delightful series, a slice of life, cute, funny, and it cheers me up every time I read it. The next book that I really want to read this summer is called My Japanese Husband Thinks I'm Crazy. I found out about this book through YouTube because I recently subscribed to a channel called Texan in Tokyo, which is about um, a young married couple living in Japan. The wife is American and the husband is Japanese. And I really enjoy watching Grace's vlogs about living in Japan. Through her videos, I also found out that she's a published writer and these books are creative nonfiction, comic book style, uh, which I'm really interested in right now because I'm writing my own nonfiction comic book, which I'll tell you guys about later. This looked like a really fun series, and I'm excited to read it. Like the previous two books, don't have this book yet, ordering it soon, and it is All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I'm also subscribed to her YouTube channel and found out about this book through YouTube. She also has a fiction book that's coming out pretty soon, and so while I'm waiting for that to be released, I am going to read this one, and I think I'm going to really enjoy it. The next book on my summer reading list is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. I have not seen the movie. Movies. I don't know how this book ends, uh, nobody has told me any spoilers, and this book has been not only on my reading list for years, but also my bookshelf for years, and I don't know why I haven't read it yet, but I want to read more fiction, and I want to read this book, so hopefully I'll read it this summer. And that is all of the books that I want to read this summer. I'm guessing that I'm going to read a lot more than that many books. Uh, because my reading pace is sped up and also I just want to read for fun so much and I haven't read for fun in a long time. <laughs> Please let me know what you guys are reading this summer in the comments below or let me know if you've read any of these books or heard of them or want to read them. It's really good to be back on YouTube. I missed it a lot. I'm excited to see you guys really soon with a new video and I hope you're having a wonderful summer so far. I will see you soon. Bye!